Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm back with some exciting updates on the multi-tool that I continued to build out for analytic endeavors. Looking in front of us, you might have had a scenario where you build some type of a pop-out pane, um, often slicers and visuals paired together with a visibility toggle where you build a custom item, something that pops out on the page, and you wanna be able to move it between your reports. Now I built a tool that lets you copy that either across one or more pages within a report or one or more pages in another PBIP report layer as well. This comes from a need that I found personally where I needed to duplicate work across that and got really tired of copying the visuals, making new bookmarks. So essentially what I did is I updated my advanced page copy page and I enhanced that A, to be able to copy full pages with filters and bookmarks either within a report or between other report PBIP files. But then I further extended those features to be able to do this for those bookmark things as well. So I won't talk too much here. I like to show rather than discussing. So let's go ahead, hop into Power BI Desktop and get started. So I first want to start by showing the updated UI in the tool. So we have copy content, which would allow for a full page copy within or between reports or bookmark and visuals copy. And that's where the destination comes in. Do I copy this within the same PBIP or do I do this cross PBIP, in which case it will give me an option for a target PBIP file. Now let's first start by showing essentially what's gonna get copied. Now, in this case, I have in front of us a report already open where I basically have some kind of a little pop-out pane. Regardless of what it is, there's a series of visuals, groups, and everything else that open and close and an associated series of buttons bookmark navigators with a group attached, open bookmark navigators, an actual shape, and an image. Now, it will intelligently look for all associated pairings if you select the bookmarks in the tool, and it will migrate those to additional pages. So let's start by showing that. I'll come back to the tool. All right, so within the tool, I have the pop-out here in the file navigator. You just need to go and navigate to wherever the core PBIP file is, and it will figure out where the rest of the files are as part of that project. And I'm going to do bookmark and visuals, and within same, and select analyze to get a breakdown. So it's going to analyze everything and it gives you a little UI where you can select the source page, which has bookmarks essentially to copy. Now the nice thing too, is it also identifies the groups that the bookmarks are in. So I can select this at the top level, the parent, and it will select the bookmarks there and which pages would I like to copy to. So I'm going to copy to page one, two, and three. Notice by the way, it gives a warning, bookmark navigators without groups detected. This is because a bookmark navigator button without a assigned group, will basically continue to show every bookmark available in there. So uh, that might break on some pages if you don't have an assigned group. It's a helpful hint as a best practice, which is why I put it that in there. So it's a warning, it won't stop you, but it is there just to guide you along to make sure that your bookmark navigator groups are typically assigned to a bookmark group rather than open bookmarks for the entire report. So I'm gonna select execute copy and we'll go take a look at the file. Uh, it gives you a summary of everything that's about to be done. Um, visuals will keep the same IDs, new bookmarks per page. Uh, that allows the bookmark to work on the visuals in the new pages as it uh, moves those around. So we'll select yes. And there we go. It took a couple of seconds. Uh, visuals copied 75. So that little pop out had a lot of visuals inside of it and cards with nested groups and it successfully copied all of those. So I uh, will go ahead and close and reopen that PBIP and we'll take a look. All right, to start with, I want to show you the problem that I just mentioned with that soft warning. Up here is a bookmark navigator button without an assigned group. So this does not have any assigned group in here, so it's going to show everything. That's that soft warning to say that these on any page will break unless you assign them to a group. This one is still fine, but we have our pop-out page. Now, page one, which I copied to, everything related to it moved over. So all the buttons, the shapes, the images that were attached to it, the bookmark button over here, it will open and close all of that. And just to show you how complex this group is, I open this here, there's a whole bunch of visuals, then I open it further and further. So there is a lot of nested groups and other stuff, and it successfully copied all this to the new page and it works on that page. And further, I think the cool factor about this is I go to my bookmark here, it recreated the groups for the bookmarks and then added the page name for it successfully as well. And it ignored the unrelated bookmark that I did not select in my navigation uh, selection when I wanted to copy these over. So page two has this, page three has this. So what I really hope and encourage is the community will get a, get a chance to use this and maybe start leveraging little pop-outs a bit more because 
for anybody who's used bookmarks before, we know that it's very irritating to have to update between or within existing reports. So you see now how I can do this really easily within a report. Now let me show you the feature of how to move this across reports. All right, in this case, I have the entire page, everything that you see in front of you here, all of the bookmark pop-outs, the items, everything that comes with this for this very detailed, layered, and complicated company scorecard that we have for this. So this is what I want to move from report A to report B to show you how I can do that across the report. So opening the tool back up. All right, so now I'm going to take that page from the company dashboard, PBIP, full page copy, cross report, over to the pop-out one. So let's do a quick analysis. And it shows that I have a page to copy here for the five bookmarks and an option of number of copies. So if I want this page to be copied five times into that new workbook, if I'm going to be using it as a template, I can do that too. So I'm going to go ahead and select execute copy and ready to copy one page from source to target, some information detailed there, select yes. And you can see it batching through everything here down at the bottom, going through each page one at a time to move all the stuff over, copy to five pages. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the PBIP. All right, so I have the pop-up file open in front of us here. This was the one that earlier I showed you where it had already duplicated across the existing pages within the report, the pop-up from that first page. And now you can see one, two, three, four, five copies of my company scorecard. If I come to this, the page is in here. I have all of my bookmarks working as expected. So each one of these pages works in turn, just like it did in the original. And again, obviously mentioning the fact that the model or the live connection needs to be the same for these fields to work. You will not be moving the data over with this, hence the PBIP format. Um, but it will work with these. And as you can see through here, it has all five of those pages because I asked for five duplications. Now, one thing to note is it will put a correct number next to all of the items in the bookmark pane here. The important thing though is these are all naked because I had no group for these bookmarks in the original file. So we will only move over groups if there are, but it is a little bit of a recommendation for house cleanup. Ensure that your bookmarks are in groups, usually if you're gonna be doing mass duplication, because otherwise what you would get is you would have gotten groups for every one of these pages that were duplicated in turn for this. So just a little bit of organization, but I'll come to even page four and take a look the pop-outs and all the bookmarks are working on that page too. So coming back to the tool, in summary, this thing basically will let you copy a page as many times as you want within the same file to a different PBIP file. And you could also do the bookmark and visual copy, which is my favorite one that allows you to do those pop-up templates and mass produce it across all of your pages within a report or all of the pages in another report. But I think this is a very cool update. I love to hear feedback as always. Links to the download and the GitHub is below. And as always, this is a community tool. I'm sure there will be bugs that are found in this as this continues to get adopted. So please report those in the Git repository for any uh, fixes that are needed. But otherwise, this is free to download. And um, yeah, I hope you find this useful. I think it will really hope hopefully unlock the door for being able to use some of the bookmark features again, uh, just because I know that's such a hurdle and um, a friction and stall point for a lot of people because they're hard to scale out. And hopefully this solves the scalability problem. Otherwise, check out my summer. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, check out similar videos here on the upper left. And as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video.